short in the front, real long in the back. Like a mullet? I, I think it was. <laughs> an accident i don't think it was it was not supposed to happen that way hey everybody my name is faith my name is tawanda shamley hi everyone my name is emma godwin and i'm born in 1946 i was born in 1966 i was born in the year 2000 and this video today is about uh, the hair journey of our family and really the history of our hair and what uh, the different styles and journeys that we've had over the years from my mom, myself, and my daughter. I think the norm was, and what I just, we just blow dry your hair, lie down your hair, and that was it. I didn't really know what your hair pattern would be. So I think since having a perm since fourth grade, I never really knew that if I could even have that natural curl pattern, so I didn't think the same thing for you, Faith. I was surprised, but I love your hair natural. I like this one here for Faith, but I like when she was wagging it straight, you know, although, like she said, it takes a little time <laughs> to get it all straight. That's time that I like, too, because we spent time together. So now she has to do it herself because it's <laughs> a little bit too much work. <laughs> all of that. It looks good, you know, but you do have to put a little work into it. <laughs> Back in the day, they got used to using the curl, the uh, straightening combs and everything, so people started wearing more uh, straight hair, which, uh, you know, later on it led to people wearing wigs. And I wore a few. Then after that, I stopped wearing the wigs and just started doing having my hair done and curls and flips in different ways. I always used to like to wear it down. I try to keep it at a certain length so I could easily wear it back in a ponytail or, you know, just wear it down so it don't be so much maintenance. I think when I first got a bang, cut a bang, somebody cut my hair. We tried to do a bang and messed it up. So I got in trouble for trying to do that. <laughs> Later, after it grew back and everything was all right, then I went and asked, could I get a bang? That was, I think, the first thing I wanted. But yeah, I, I got to relax. I forgot the age I was when I first got one. When Faith got the natural, I was still getting a, a touch up every now and then, but I was trying to let it just go natural myself and then just wash it and blow dry it and stuff like that. And I would ask her about could I try using, you know, would some of those products still work for me that she's using, you know. And she said some of them probably would. I just have to try certain ones, the conditioner and different things, you know. Actually for just natural, not when I blow dry, I thought about that, man. I might try it one day. I might just try that, and then I can come and, you know, get some help from the professional. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, the first trend was getting a perm. I got a perm when I was in the fourth grade, and the reason why is because my hair was long, all the way down my back, very thick, and I hate it when anybody did my hair. <laughs> And people didn't even like to do my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I used to wash it and, and shampoo and blow dry it and stuff. Every time she see me coming, it was to with a comb and a brush it. <laughs> she knew what time it was. <laughs> For me, just getting that perm made it easier. So that was one of the first things. I just wanted it straight, but easier to be straight. So that was kind of the first trend that I remember. I got bangs, I know in high school, I got bangs at one point, then college I got bangs at one point. Just throughout, I would get a, get bangs for a while, then let it grow out, and then, oh I want bangs again. But I think I started in high school with the bangs. I didn't get, I know I didn't get bangs when I was little. I was just, that perm, that was, that was about the stretch. First bob was in college, and I wore the bob. I still do, I mean just, it's kind of grown out now, but I still, when I get my hair cut, it kind of goes, I'm pretty basic. It's either a short bob or I let it grow back out. Ooh wee, not the jerry curl. Never had a jerry curl. Wasn't a fan of the jerry curl personally, but you know, now some people have the jerry curl, it would look nice. I think it was maybe the super greasy jerry curls that I didn't really like. If it looked like a nice relaxed curl, jerry curl, that was cool, but not the greasy, 
wet, flip it on your pillow, wake up, Jerry Curl. First of all, when Faith was little, I used to love doing Faith's hair when she was a little girl. That was our great quality time to sit and do her hair. So we would do different styles when she was little. Um, not really any trends, but just all the little cute little girl things. Sometimes I would do certain styles that I liked when I was little. Uh, of course, she had to have <laughs> the standard two ponytails like I had, because you know, you gotta go through that. But we would change it up. Sometimes it would be braids, sometimes we would twist it. Now, when she got older and then it got really long, and real thick, like mine was when I was little, then I was really happy when she started doing it herself. I'm so proud of Faith, um, just really taking ownership on what she wanted her personal style to be with her hair. Her journey is gonna be her journey, and I don't, didn't want her necessarily just to do what I did. I think I did what we did with my, I mean, I got a perm, like I said, when I was in the fourth grade, and Looking back, I wish I had not gotten the perm because today I probably could do a lot of different things with my hair. And the fact that she kind of stood the ground and knew that she wanted to keep her hair natural and, and do different things, I, I'm definitely proud of her and love that she you know, took that ownership and is going through the journey of what she wants for her personal style. I would say my personal style is a lot like my mom's and she really influenced me and how I developed into my own personal style. It's just very natural, very me, very I woke up like this, but a little bit, you know, more work. <laughs> I remember when I was a lot younger, my grandma used to do my hair as well. Both my mom and my grandmother used to do my hair. And I would love the little hairstyle she would do on me. And um, also something I admire about my grandmother too is how she takes care of her hair routinely and so that's something I, I still am trying to get together in my life <laughs> is when it's wash day faith you gotta sit down and stick to your wash day <laughs> but nanny we call my grandmother nanny but <laughs> nanny never misses a wash day she stays on her routine and she takes care of her hair and that's something that I love and admire about her so I remember the first natural hair trend that I really wanted to do was actually wearing my natural curls. So I had been natural all my life, but I always wore my hair straight. That's why my hair was pretty badly heat damaged. We would go through the whole routine of blow drying and, and flat ironing my hair. And it was a whole task, y'all. It was a whole entire task. I remember going on YouTube, watching videos of all these people wearing their hair naturally curly. I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna do that. There's been so many different trends. I would say definitely the wet hair trend. That was an era where <laughs> you would basically use a bunch of products and gel to weigh down your hair to make your hair look wet. I only did that like once or twice, but I really, really did love that style. I would also say the different creative ways that we use cornrows in our hair. Putting cornrows like up here and then wearing the rest of your hair out, I really love that trend. And lastly, the trend I really love as well is knotless braids. With knotless braids, you can literally flip them or you can put them up or you can do an updo. You can do whatever you want with knotless braids. So yeah, I love those as well. I remember telling my mom and telling her about the products I wanted to buy. She was like, hey, now you know, <laughs> your hair different. Your hair might not turn out like that hair. But she still let me do it anyway, and here we are. Back when I first went natural, for me, I did it for a few reasons. First, I always really loved how my hair looked when it was wet, when I would um, wash my hair. And this was back when, again, when I was straightening my hair. So I was used to seeing my hair straight, but I really loved how my hair looked when it was all wet and it reverted back to its natural curl pattern. I was like, yes, I love this. <laughs> so I was like, wait, I can get this look 24 seven? So it was more just a, natural progression. And she, when I found out she was going natural, I thought when she first did it was just, you know, for a little time only. <laughs> so I, I kept waiting, I kept waiting. I was like, when's she going back to the <laughs> shop to get her hair straight? And so I think one day I asked her. I said, Faith, um, when you going back and get your hair straight? She said, I'm not. This is, I'm a wet head. I was like, I'm not. okay. <laughs> I said, okay, I said, you go, you gonna be doing it yourself? You gonna keep it up? She said, yeah, and she been doing that. You know, she keep up with all the 
products that she need to make sure it's together and everything. I wasn't really familiar with the process of everything you need for the natural hair because mm -hmm. my, you know, I had a perm and I would blow dry it and all that. So with Faith, I didn't really know all those products that was needed. I mean, probably when I was younger, if I had that same access to the gels and the, and the foams and all the oh, stuff that's yeah. available now, yes. I may have gone there because I like the look, but it just wasn't, I, I think, the thing back then, you know. Yeah. So now it is, and I see everything that it takes to make it happen and look great, and you have to, you know, definitely keep it up. But um, I think that's why I was surprised, just because really myself and my mom, that wasn't the way yeah. our hair was. Yeah. But seeing Faith with the natural hair, I love it. Yeah.